you a simple tool that will teach you just that. Oh, hi. I'm Dr. Daniel Cantor, Neurology in Real Time. I've been watching a video by Dr. Aaron Boster about something called the Multiple Sclerosis Severity Scale and how that can be turned into the patient-derived Multiple Sclerosis Severity Scale. What's interesting about this video is that it uses information that comes from several of our colleagues. Some of them are still alive, and some of them have unfortunately passed on. Dr. John Kurtzke, who's a rear admiral in the United States Navy, developed the Expanded Disability Status Scale. He published the information in 1983. And the basic idea of that scale is to look at disability. And the way that they looked at disability and multiple sclerosis had a lot to do with how they looked at hospitalized World War II veterans who had multiple sclerosis. And what they did is they did a structured neurological examination. And at the end, you get a score. Zero means no disability. And 10, unfortunately, means death due to MS. Right in the middle is six. And six means you're using one cane. And then 6.5, two canes, seven, you're using a wheelchair. So as you can see, it's not really a linear scale. It kind of really goes and changes and really pre pretty fast, you actually have high scores. So based on that, they developed other things. And one of those things that was developed was by Roxborough and a lot of other people. And what they looked in the early 2000s was they said, well, let's not just look at your score. Let's see how long you've had symptoms of multiple sclerosis. Remember, Dr. Boster, it's about the symptoms, not about the year of diagnosis. And so they made something called the Multiple Sclerosis Severity Scale. And this is this really colorful idea of being able to see what group you're in and how you're doing. And then what happened is a colleague of ours who unfortunately passed away several years ago, a real gentleman named Dr. Joseph Herbert at NYU or New York University said, well, let's popularize it. Let's use it in a lot of studies. And so he actually went through a lot of data and thanks to him, we really have this being used a lot. Then what happened is uh, Dr. Herbert was actually the senior author, but Dr. Kister, the Kister who's still at NYU was the first author on taking that scale and instead of putting it in the hands of doctors, putting it in the hands of patients. And they called that the patient-derived multiple sclerosis severity scale. So the first publication on that actually came out in 2013. Now you're just seeing some people do some videos about it. So let's talk about what those things that we can learn about it are. And, and so when you may have seen his video, when Dr. Boster talks about it, what he talks about is how you can see this really colorful idea and you can say, well, where are you in MS? There's something simple that you can do. You can take this scale and it's not as meaningful right now. But if you notice here, that's years. Normally in a graph, that's called the x-axis, not the y-axis. So all you have to do Dr. Boster, check this out, flip it 90 degrees. So all you have to do is take it and then flip it 90 degrees. So what does that mean? Well, you see this, these are the numbers. These are the years, the years since the first symptom. If you flip it 90 degrees, now you can much more easily see where you are on that graph. And by doing that, you can see, are you in the same place you should be? Or are you not in the same place you should be for your multiple sclerosis? And so, for example, Dr. Boster brought up this person. Look how early they had a lot of disability. They were already in the red for the beginning. And we want to keep them out of that red. We want to change their course. But they may, natural history, just stay in that red. You want to be somewhere else. You want to be much lower here. And that's actually what Dr. Herbert called benign multiple sclerosis. Now, this can really work out well if you then take doctors out of the picture. And then we have something called the patient-derived multiple sclerosis severity scale. And so what you see here is that scale. But once again, just take that scale, flip it 90 degrees, and find out where you are. And when you do it that way, it can be a lot more useful. So this is great information that Dr. Boster gave you, but all you have to do is flip it 90 degrees. Together, we can do better. 
One mission, one community. I'm Dr. Daniel Cantor.